Good afternoon, everyone. And um, I would like to I would like to uh, uh, thank you uh, for this important event today. Uh, today I'm representing Religions for Peace UK, a national interfaith youth network, and I'm delighted to be here. It was amazing and very encouraging to hear of um, all of the work done by faith communities to keep people connected, safe, fit, and in good mental health. Um, I consider well-being uh, very important and interfaith organizations uh, should continue having their focus on, uh, on it together. Uh, from interfaith perspective, COVID-19 viruses like this uh, do not discriminate between people of faith. Uh, that is why we all have to get together for our survival as it is a mutual concern. Scientists have been warning us about the dangers of uh, possible potential viruses uh, for over the last 30 minutes, uh, 30 years, sorry. But these warnings have never been taken into account um, that much as uh, we've been doing since 2019. Um, it is about time that science and religion to work together continuously and benefit people, their life on, uh, also benefit their life on planet earth. Uh, we have been ignoring these things for some time and COVID-19 has forced us to rely on science as our routines have changed ex extremely uh, during this time, um, which has been really hard for everyone, for each age groups and is still ongoing. Uh, we need to have a major initiative to thank all of those who are working with vaccines at the moment and uh, with trying to have control of the viruses, not only COVID-19, but also uh, COVID-19 mutations, uh, because they have been the ones who are now providing some kind of uh, solution to deal with COVID-19 virus. And uh, a lot of uh, faith communities, which uh, you all uh, presented today, they are trying to um, um, raise awareness and open the eye of uh, individuals that there are um, fraud news uh, around, fake news around. And uh, I think we should keep uh, continuing encouraging them to uh, uh, to get done their vaccines. Um, and. Um, the people that are working on the vaccines at the moment, I'm talking about scientists, they are also, let's not forget, they are also people of faith uh, too. Uh, for example, the owners of um, the Pfizer-BioNTech, which is the German company, uh, they are uh, the owners of them. They are two um, Muslim uh, scientists, which there are many of them out there. They are uh, also people of uh, faith and um, they identified uh, the vaccine uh, for COVID-19. And just to uh, raise the point and recognize uh, the person who identified it was also a woman. So uh, every individual is very important and we, should, uh, we shouldn't look at uh, the gender or um, you know, the background of the individual, but uh, be united in this uh, uh, type of times, hard times that we are all dealing with. It is wonderful to see that uh, several places of worships have now opened up and have become vaccination centers and they are providing vaccines. This is a very welcomed development. As far as young people are concerned, I'm coordinating the Religions for Peace UK Interfaith Youth Network and we have been researching and having interviews and conducting surveys among young people about their concerns and what they would like to do now, how we would uh, support each other and where they would like to see themselves in near future or in the future. And the outcomes of the researches pointed out that, uh, and it is something that we are all very uh, much aware of, that young people these days are not too concerned about divisions between faiths. Uh, they are not concerned too much about within inter in intra-religious and inter-religious uh, rivalry, but they want in general is to uh, have a voice, a, a better well-being, equality, justice, and more sustainable world for now and the future. And the Religions for Peace UK Interfaith Youth Network is working on different ways of supporting them. Uh, it is important that people of interfaith, the leaders of interfaith, to come together to help for the future security in well-being, employment, and survival. Uh, this is going to be a, the major concern for now and the future. 
Uh, to conclude my words, the threat of COVID will not end even with the control of this strain virus. The possibilities of future viruses may come and we all have to be prepared to work together and come up with concrete actions to challenge this in the UK. We need to come up with long-term answers to deal with environmental issues because one of the clear reasons for the emergence of the virus is that there has been deforestation, extinctions, and climate change. COVID-19 has helped to clarify the need to investigate biodiver biodiversity role, biodiversity's role, and we should really aim for sustainable development, educate ourselves, and together work for concrete actions uh, to help to solve local, national, and also so worldwide, uh, worldwide challenges. Uh, thank you for your precious time. And thank you very much again for organizing this important event. It was very informative for me.